The president chatted with the couple in their bridal suite for a few minutes and then later stopped by the cocktail hour. The couple says even those who are not Trump supporters found the moment extremely exciting. And you have to say, that was pretty cool that he stopped by. Now to the latest on the international. <laughs> 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 Welcome back to my channel, Sass here. I'm here for another week of foolery and your cousins. They've been cutting up this week, all right, and part of last week. So, all right, let's talk about Nicole Murphy and Antoine Fuqua. Okay, is that how you say his name, y'all? All right, Nicole Murphy. Uh, we all know her from being, uh, for being um, Eddie Murphy's ex. And having a whole bunch of kids. Now, I don't know how many kids this woman has, but she has a whole bunch, okay? And she was also in that um, reality show on VH1, Hollywood Wives. Y'all remember that? I like that show. I was down with it. Now, Antoine Fuqua, he is a famous director, writer, producer. And they done got caught up in some scandal. Because this picture has surfaced. Now, Antoine is married to Leela Rochon. We all know her from many, many, many movies. Okay, they've been married for years. Well, this picture surfaced. And it is showing Nicole Murphy kissing Antoine for clock. Okay. Now, when it broke, of course, it went everywhere. But this is my question. Why is it that these celebrities who are cheating or get caught cheating is always in beautiful settings on a yacht, walking out of a restaurant, you know, in a car, you know, right here, this, this picture, okay? This picture, all right? Flowers. You know, the, the, the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, she's in a, you know, bikini. Well, who took this picture? <laughs> Did we ever find out who took this picture? Was it the paparazzi? I mean, I, I just cannot believe that you are going to stand there and kiss a married man. All right. Like this. All right. This. In broad daylight. In front of beautiful flowers. <laughs> what is going on? If you're going to cheat, go to Oregon. You know, go to, um, you know, Two Light Central, you know, Iowa. <laughs> go on top of a mountain. You know what I mean? Y'all just out in the open. Now, Nicole Murphy, she done went out there and lied. And said that this was a friendly hello. Now, Nicole, <laughs> now you know you a lie. You a whole lie. Now, let me tell you something. That may be a friendly hello when you cheat, but that is not a friendly hello as in friends. Okay? And furthermore, all right, who does a friendly hello like that to a married man? Okay? Who does that? That's not a friendly hello. That's a we banging tonight. Or we just finished banging. That's what type of hello that is. Okay? Y'all see y'all got them little fresh coffees? Honey, they spent the night together. Okay? Y'all see them little teacups? <laughs> Honey, they spent the night together. Guarantee. Alright. Hey, y'all some friends. Alright. My friends, husbands or boyfriends... Okay, I ain't never did a friendly hello to them. All right, the most they get from me is a side hug. Mm -hmm. That's what they get. All right, and I'm gonna make sure that my friend is standing right there, looking me in the eye. I'm like, yes, you, you right here. You, you see me, right? Oh, hey, what's up, right here? We good. We good. All right. All right. That's what they get. This has never occurred when I. Me up with my friend or said husband or boyfriend. Ain't nothing like this ever happened. Look, Nicole Murphy, you got caught cheap. All right. Why say anything? All right. We know that's a lie. But you just lied and embarrassed your 
yourself and everybody you love. Now, Antoine ain't said nothing. Okay? He ain't said anything. But Nicole Murphy, you know, she wanted to um, make up, you know, I guess she wanted to make up some story. And that's the best she could come up with, was that was a friendly hello. This ain't the first time we have heard of Nicole Murphy um, allegedly, you know, cheating with uh, married men. Um, Lisa Ray has came out and, um, you know, she has all, always said that Nicole Murphy ain't nothing but a cheater. Okay, so this ain't the first time, you know, I've heard that Nicole Murphy like to have, you know, extracurricular activities with someone else's husband. So, Nicole Murphy, she had to come out with an apology. Y'all want to know what she said? Okay, here you go. Without going into the entire situation, I want to apologize to my family and to Layla and to the Fuqua family for what transpired. It was not my intention to be in this situation. Let me, let me stop right there. It was not your intention to be in this situation, but this picture pops up with you out in the open, Broad daylight kissing a married man. All right, y'all let that marinate. Let that marinate. Let me keep going, okay? I do not condone women kissing or interacting in any way inappropriately with a married man. I too was once married, and I would never intentionally undermine another woman despite what has been written. All right, you got caught. All right, you know this man was married. You chose to kiss him. He chose to kiss you. And that's that. All right? There's nothing else to be said. You don't have to go into no big, huge thesis about what happened. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. The proof is in the picture. Okay? We see it. He cheated on his wife. And you let him. So, I don't think any, I don't think, has Leela Rashawn said anything about this? I don't think she has. Um, if she has, please let me know. But this is just a whole mess. Okay? A whole mess. Another person done got caught cheating. Busted. That's it. There's nothing else to be said. Next story. Let's talk about Monique. Monique went on a show called Comedy Hype. If I don't forget, I'll leave a link um, down below. I think it was four parts. She talks about Steve Harvey, um, Charlemagne the God, uh, Whoopi Goldberg, and Oprah. Now, I'm not going to go into detail about what she said about Steve Harvey. We already know what happened between her and Steve Harvey. I spoke about it on one of the Foolery Fridays, so... We already know what went on between her and Steve, okay? So, I want to talk about what she had to say about Oprah, all right? Now, we know in the past, Monique has had a problem with Oprah and Tyler Perry. You know, Monique feels like that Oprah and Tyler Perry don't support her. She, They don't really support, you know, black people, you know, so she's done spoke on that. She also said that years ago when um, Oprah had her show, she had Monique's brother on her show. Now, if you don't know, Monique's brother molested her. All right? Monique says that Oprah called her up and she discussed this with Monique. You know, to see if it's okay if she did it. And Monique said that she appreciated that. That she appreciated that Oprah, you know, wanted her to know, you know, ahead of time. And she was cool with it. Until the show aired. Alright. Now, when the show aired, it had the molesting brother, her other brother, who was her manager at the time, and her uh, mother. And Monique was furious about this. Okay. She says that she had no idea that Oprah was going to bring on her mother and her other brother. And she felt like that what Oprah did was malicious and uh, backstabbing, okay? I guess for ratings. 
and she lost a lot of respect for Oprah over that. Now, years go by, and this was during uh, an Oscar party, all right? And I don't know how many years ago it was, but it was during the, um, what was it called, y'all? Six years of slavery, 50 years of slavery, 40 years of slavery. It was during that Lapetta being nominated for that Academy Award. So, Monique says that all these beautiful A-list black actresses was all together. There was Lupita, there was Angela Bassett, there was Lynn Whitfield. There, she was just naming off all these A-list actresses. And then there's Oprah. And she says in front of all these women, she confronted Oprah. And she says, why did you invite my mother on your show? What you did was malicious. Honey, and she said that no one didn't say a word. Now, when I tell you I wish I was a fly on the wall, can you imagine being at an Oscar party, okay, amongst all these beautiful women, and there's Oprah, and there's Monique, and Monique is confronting Oprah in front of you, child. I would have been like this. You know, sounding like Charlie Brown teachers. We have grainy video of everything, but not one video of that. Oh, Lord. I bet you them women was like, listen here, y'all. Our name is Bennett, and we ain't in it. Okay? Nobody bet not say nothing about this. Nobody bet not have no recording of this. Nobody bet not have videotaped this. You will be voted off of the island. <laughs> Don't y'all say nothing about this. Our name's been it and we ain't it. Honey, you don't hear nothing about that. Man, oh man. Now that's power. Okay. Ain't nobody said nothing about Oprah. Nobody in that room, all those famous A-list women ain't said nothing about Oprah. They ain't talking. So they said that it hurt her feelings. Nick says that she wants a public apology from Oprah because the way Oprah handled that was wrong, it was malicious, and it hurt her feelings. And she says this was a woman that she looked up to. Okay, She says that when she was a little girl, they did a field trip to where Oprah worked. Okay, she gave Oprah a hug. And I was thinking myself, now how old is Monique and how old is Oprah? <laughs> what? How old is Monique, y'all? Did she give it Oprah a hug? Let me see how old Monique is. Hey, Monique is 51. Oprah is 65. So that's what? 15 years age difference? Alright, well, I guess that will make sense. I mean, Oprah could be 23 when Monique was 8. So, okay, alright. Okay, I can see. Well, anyway, she's waiting for that public apology, honey. Monique, you are not going to get no public apology from Oprah. Because I guess in Oprah's eyes, she didn't do anything wrong. We have never heard any of this from Oprah. Oprah has never said anything about Monique, not that I know of. So I don't think that she's going to have a comment. She's not going to say anything. So Monique, I'm, I'm just sorry. I'm just sorry about that. So, All right, let's talk about Diddy and Lori Harvey. Now apparently, allegedly, they are going out. Neither one has confirmed this, but it was this picture. They were seen leaving some restaurant. Now, P. Diddy is in his 50s, and Lori Harvey is 22 years old. Now, what's going on there? P. Diddy, if you don't sit down somewhere with your old self, what you doing with this 22-year-old girl? 
What are you doing with this 22 year old girl? And if I'm not mistaken, y'all, did Lori Harvey date Justin Combs, daddy's son? Am I right about that? Did I not? Did I read that wrong somewhere? I believe they dated. Now, if they did date, I will put a picture right here. Okay, if they didn't date, shut my mouth. All right, so. We do know that she dated Trey Songs, and then Songs had a whole baby behind her back, and they are no longer together. Now, Lori Harvey, I'm going to need for you to understand this. You are 22 years old, and I see that you're having fun. Have fun, but why in the world are you dating Diddy, if that's the case? Why is this 22-year-old dating Diddy? He is in his 50s, and... She dated his son. I don't get it. I don't understand that. But child, they, they allegedly dating. I really don't have too much to say about this story. If they're dating, they're dating. If they're not, they're not. I think they look very odd together. All right. And I think that Diddy's too old to be dating this 22-year-old girl. But that's just me. Let's move on. Okay. Okay. As you know, last week I was giving away a um, book um, that was written by Poetry, and the winner is Lady V. Um, congratulations, girl. So what I'm going to do is mail um, your book to Poetry so she can sign it, and then she will mail it to you. So Lady V, get in touch with Poetry. You're already subscribed to her, so I'm sure you can. You know, send her a DM um, somewhere. Y'all will work it out. <clears throat> and um, enjoy the book. I think you'll like it. All right, guys. I don't think there's anything else. Um, I don't know of any other stories that intrigue me. I just really wanted to talk about um, those three stories. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Remember to be safe. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, friends. Bye.